dear students we have completed about dimensional changes in a pair due to laundering and laundering dry cleaning steaming and pressing now we will study about durable press evaluation soil stain release hopefully these two topics will be completed in this class and if possible water repellency test so durable press is a term used to describe a fabric or garment that will retain its original shape smoothness sharpness of crease through wear comma repeated laundering not require ironing this means that it will resist wrinkling and retain its creases and pleats till the end it also means that seams will be free from puckering and flat and the fabric will have a smooth surface appearance it implies no ironing is required after laundering this term is often used interchangeably with the term permanent press however astm encourages the use of the term durable press permanent press has a connotation of that property being permanent however there is nothing permanent in life terms such as wash and wear and minimum care imply minimum ironing after laundering so durable press and permanent press are the two terms that are used interchangeably for a garment that will retain its original shape smoothness sharpness and they do not require ironing so permanent press durable press wash and wear minimum care are the words used interchangeably so according to a survey by cotton incorporated 2004 when it comes to communicating to the consumer consumers no ironing needed following labels were ranked from most effective to least effective so most effective is wrinkle free next one is wrinkle resistant next one is no worry next one is care free next one is wrinkle defiant next one is stress free easy care this is the least effective so we have studied an order of no ironing required now no ironing required fabrics are ranked from most effective to least effective in that we have studied wrinkle free wrinkle resistant no worry care free wrinkle defiant stress free easy care and all these things so according to astm 4850 durable press means having the ability to retain sustainably substantially the initial shape flat seams pressed in creases and unwrinkled appearance during use and after laundering or dry cleaning wash and wear means a generic term applied to fabric or garments which satisfactorily retain a neat appearance after repeated wearing and suitable home laundering with little or no pressing or ironing so 
this is about durable press there are four aatcc test methods for evaluating the appearance of durable press fabrics or garments uh, so aatcc test method 88b 88c appearance of seams in durable press items after repeated home laundering 88c is appearance of creases in durable press items after repeated home laundering aatcc test method 124 appearance of fabrics after repeated home laundering aatcc test method 143 appearance of apparel and other textile end products after repeated home laundering so in all these methods this test specimen is laundered five times in an automatic home washer and a dryer at a durable press setting using one of the washing conditions mentioned in the test method after the test specimen is taken out of the dryer it is allowed to hang in the standard conditions for testing testing 65% rh and 21 plus or minus 1% for at least 2 hours the so this is the test method so so it is not so it is very simple so let us check on the online if we have any material or anything ஒரு <laughs> பேடிங் அப்படின்றது என்னன்னா இந்த கிளாஸ் லிங்கிங் ஏஜென்ஸ் கெமிக்கல்ஸ் நம்ம என்ன செய்வோம் அப்படின்னா பேடிங் மெத்தட்ல ஃபேப்ரிக்ல அப்ளை பண்ணுவோம் சோ ஐ வாண்ட் டு ஐ வாண்ட் எ டெஸ்ட் மெத்தட் நியூமேடிக் பிரஸ் வித் அண்ட் ஷி இஸ் டெல்லிங் கிளாஸ் லைக் மீ சோ வாட் இஸ் தி யூஸ் so durable press is an evaluation subjective analysis test so it is not available on the internet
so anyway let us not uh, waste our time soil and stain release much of the dirt on textile material much of the dirt on textile material is held by a film of oily or greasy matter with clothing worn next to the skin the grease comes from the skin the air is filled with millions of minute particles of mineral and organic matter dust soot smoke particles and so on these particles these particles come into contact with clothing and are held there by grease films the greasy film that holds dirt to the surface may be of two types mineral mineral oil such as machine oil or automobile grease or grease of the glyceride type such as fat with the advent of soil stain release so this is about soil and stain dirt to soot organic matter all these things with the advent of durable press and 100% synthetic fibers the removal of certain types of soil has a become a problem oil type stains often found on men's shirt collars or grease stains especially on work trousers are more difficult to remove from the durable press and 100% synthetic fabrics than from untreated cotton to solve this a number of finishes have been developed for use on durable press and 100% synthetic fiber fabrics these are called soil release or sr finishes aatcc test method 130 soil release oily stain release method is designed to measure the ability of fabric to release oily stains during home laundering in this test a stain on test specimen is produced by applying a stain to the specimen and forcing it into the specimen using a specified weight the stain fabric is then laundered in a prescribed manner and the residual stain is visually compared to aatcc stain release replica and is rated on a scale from 5 to 1 the standard staining substance used is a refined mineral oil so then three into Uh, other non standard staining substances of interest to the user such as coffee ketchup mustard salad dressing lipstick nail polish etc may be applied to the test specimens using the same techniques in such cases the non standard stain should be identified in the report so the then three individuals rate the residual stain on the test specimen compared with the stains in the stain release replica available from aatcc method the final rating is the average of the three individual ratings the rating of class 5 indicates an excellent stain release property uh, and the rating of class 1 indicates poor stain release property generally speaking an item with a stain release rating of class 3 or less is considered not acceptable from the consumer's point of view so <coughs> stain release replica i will show you the video not video uh, this so you see here so 
so these are the samples of aatcc test methods and so that is about style stain release here soil stain release property is has become prominent after the advent of durable press and 100% synthetic fibers so we have completed soil and stain release so now we will go to water resistance and water repellency water resistance and water repellency these are the topics water resistance is an important property of fabrics intended for end uses such as rain coats tents umbrellas so this is i don't know if it is there in the syllabus or not snagging snagging is defined as a defect caused by the pulling or plucking of yarns from a fabric surface so snagging is a word that is used in textile industry in garment industry it is defined as a defect caused by the pulling or plucking of yarns from a fabric surface so if you pull fabrics if you if you pull yarns from a fabric or pluck the yarns from a fabric then fabric surface then snagging occurs the snagging of a specific fabric in actual wear varies with the individual wearer and general conditions of use snagging is not new to the knitting industry and has been an accepted phenomenon in women's stockings light outerwear and lingerie where treatment and service used are usually gentle and light knits used in a more rugged outerwear application such as men's trousers result is very high and an unacceptable levels of snagging astm has two test methods for testing snag resistance d3939 and d5362 so we have two test two test methods one is mace test and the other one is bean bag tester so mace test i think it, it it will be there on the internet so i will read and then i'll show you video in mace test fabric specimens in tubular form are placed one at a time on a cylindrical drum a mace that means a spiked ball is allowed to bounce randomly against each rotating specimen as the mace bounces over each specimen snags could occur at a occur snags could occur to a degree affected by a variety of fabric factors the degree of fabric snagging is then evaluated by comparison of the tested specimen with visual standards that may be either fabric or photographs of fabrics the observed resistance to snagging is reported on a scale ranging from number 5 no snagging to number 1 severe snagging so this is about snag 
स्नैगिंग टेस्ट मेज टेस्ट सो दिस इज वेरी आई कैन शो यू द पिक्चर इन द बुक बट लेट अस गो टू द वीडियो डायरेक्टली सो दैट इट विल बी इफेक्टिव This is maze tester. हाय दोस्तों होप आप लोग अच्छे होंगे आज हम आप लोगों को बोन स्क्यू के बारे में बताएंगे जो स्टैंडर्ड इसमें यूज किया जाता है वो होता है एस टी एम डी थ्री एट So this is Miss Snag Tester. So in the earlier example we have four, only two holders. Now we have four holders. These are called. This is Miss Spiked Ball is called as a Miss. The spiked ball is called as the mace. Let's say, and it damages the fabric by continuous.
so this is mais test mais tester is one kind of snagging test and next one is bean bag test fabric specimens to be tested are cut into dimensions of approximate so i have completed mais test now i am going to bean bag test i don't uh, think this is available on the internet i will check one more time last time i checked but it was not there last year or some time back in bean bag test so we are continuing with bean bag test here fabric specimens to be tested are cut into dimensions of approximately 9 into 18 cm this is folded in half and sewn into a pouch a bean bag weighing approximately 1 lb is placed in the pouch and the top is sewn closed placed in the cylinder which contains eight baffle bars with a series of tenter pins protruding from them at an angle the test specimen is subjected to a random tumble action the tenter pins carry it to the top of the chamber where it pulls away and drops to the bottom the tenter pins act to snag the specimen as the cylinder rotates the specimen is subjected to under revolutions of the cylinder the specimen is then removed and the degree of snagging is evaluated by comparison of the tested specimen with visual rating standards that may be either snagged fabrics or photographs of snagged fabrics or counting the number of snags stucky and shake 1975 found the bean bag method to have the following advantages over other snagging tests in use snagging is multidirectional in end use and the bean bag method simulates this very effectively this very effectively test data from the bean bag tests were found to be less variable giving greater precision half the numbers of test specimens were required due to multi directional testing and low variation the test fabric is mounted in a relaxed state the tension occurs only as the weighted bean bag pulls the test specimen away from the tenter pins where it is was impaled this relax this is relaxed to under tension cycle is more realistic so let us see bean bag test if it is available it is outdated i think this method of testing bean bag test is outdated i guess maybe it is it will come so anyway it's not coming so bean mais test is very famous so let us stick to mais test and next topic is abrasion resistance we cannot complete it so dear students now i will recapitulate what we have studied
in chapter testing.